Hello and welcome to an introduction to programming using Visual Basic Exercises for Beginners. In this exercise we are going to create an ISBN validator. We are to write a program that accepts a 10-digit ISBN type number, including the hyphens, as input, calculate the sum and then tell if it is a valid ISBN. Now we have to calculate the sum because valid ISBN is divisible by 11 unless the last digit is an X. If that's the case, then the X is replaced with the number 10 and then the sum of all these numbers would be divisible by 11 if it's a valid ISBN. Now the formula to determine if the ISBN is valid and to calculate the sum is like this. The first number of the ISBN is multiplied by 10, the second is multiplied by 9, third is multiplied by 8 and so forth and the last number is multiplied by 1. So if the last number or the digit is x, then we'll multiply 1 times 10, because x is replaced by 10. If the last number is a digit, then we'll simply multiply that digit by 1. So this is our form, very simple. We have a masked text box that will accept the ISBN, and it's masked because the first nine characters must be digits, and the last one may or may not be digit. It can be a digit or an X. So that one we will have to verify whether the user entered X or a digit, but all the others will be digit by default because uh, no other input is allowed other than digits. Okay, I'm in Visual Studio 2015 and before we start coding let me just show you the mask text box. I'll show you the pattern or the mask that I'm using. The valid ISBN has a format of a digit, then hyphen, then two digits, hyphen, then there's six digits, and there's hyphen, and at the end it would be either digit or it's going to be a character, and the only valid character should be X, but we have to validate that. Alright, so let's start coding. I'll double click the check validity button, and the first thing I'm going to declare are some variables. We need an array for the ISBN, and we need an input that will be the input from the mask text box. So I'm going to create an array with 10 elements, so it's going to be dim, I call it ISBN, and it's going to be 10 elements, in other words, 9 indexes with starting with 0, 0 through 9, and it's going to be all integers. Because even if the last number or the character is x, we'll convert it to an integer, which is supposed to be number 10. And let's get the input, and there's one more we need, and that's the sum that we will use for the calculation whether the sum is divisible by 11. Now, the first thing you're going to check is whether the last digit is an X or if it's a number. And if it happens to be an X, then our last element in our ISBN array will equal to 10, because remember, if it's X, we'll replace it with the number of 10. If it is actually a number, we don't replace it with 10, we'll simply leave that actual number as is. So we can use the if statement for the input and we can check if it ends with, and in our case, x. We'll convert this to upper and if the user enters lowercase, by default, we will match it to our capital X. So if this is true, then, like I said, our ISBN of the last index, which is index 9, will equal value 10. And we can add that value to our sum. Remember, the last number in the ISBN is multiplied by 1. So if our last number equals 10, then obviously 1 times 10 equals 10. So we can start with sum plus equals 10. And that is our last digit or last character. Now, if it is a actual number, we'll do an else if, and we will check if the last character is numeric. And to check it, we'll check the input of the substring and we are checking the last character, which would be 12, because remember, that's also hyphens. We have three hyphens in that uh, ISBN number. So our last actual character will be of the index of 12 and the length will be one because we only want one character. So if it is numeric, then we have a valid input. And again, we can assign that value to our ISBN of index 9, because this is our last number of the ISBN. Now this time, it doesn't equal to 10, it will equal any number that the user entered, 
So we have to convert it to an integer because by default it's a string and we will use the same substring that we just checked. We will use the input substring of the last character of 12 on length of 1. And we can add that to our sum. Now you can either have this or this. You cannot have both. Either it ends with x or it ends with numeric number. So our sum plus equals ISBN and this is our last ISBN number of index 9 which has which just assigned to our array. Now if it is not numeric and if it is not x then we can display a message box that it's an invalid input. And one more thing we want to do if it's an invalid input after we display the message box we don't want to process anything else. We don't want to go and process the ISBN number and validate it. We want to exit the sub procedure. So we will do exit sub. So if the input is invalid no more processing. However, if the input is valid, we can continue and we can check for the ISBN number and its validity. The first thing I'm going to do is declare two more variables. The first one I'll call multiplier. Remember, in our formula, we have these multipliers of 10, then 9, and 8 that we use to multiply the digit of each of the ISBN number. So I'm going to create a multiplier and I'll start with 10 and as I loop through the ISBN numbers, I will decrease it by 1. So the next number will be multiplied by 9, the next one by 8, and so forth. So I'll create the variable, and like I said, I'll assign it the value of 10, which would be used to multiply the first digit of the ISBN number. So I'm going to use a for loop, and uh, the for loop will be looping through the input. However, I need some kind of an indexer for the ISBN array because ISBN array the length of it does not match the input like I said the input has extra characters of the hyphens while ISBN will only store the digits so I'll just create an integer called index and I'll start with 0 and now like I said we can do a for loop and loop through the input and we will loop through the input all the way to the end minus 2 minus 1 because we start with a 0 index but minus 2 because we already have the last digit of our ISBN because we checked that first because we didn't know if it's gonna be a number or an X. So we don't want to loop through that again and multiply it again because we already ad added it to our sum. So you want to avoid it and only check for the first nine digits and ignore the last one because that one's already done. So I'm going to use a for loop. We'll start with 0 but we will loop only to the input that length minus 2. So this way we are ignoring the last character in our input because that one's already taken care of. And we only want the digits. If it's a hyphen we want to ignore it, so the easiest way to do it will check if the character we are looping through is numeric. And if it is, we can assign it to our ISBN. So we will do an if is numeric and we're checking the input of the substring with the index of i, that's the current character we are at within the loop, and the length of 1. We only want one character. So if it is a numeric, we have a valid number and we can add it to our ISBN. So we will simply do ISBN, and the index to use for the ISBN is the variable called index, not the i within the loop, because the i is simply used to loop through the input, and the input also contains hyphens which we ignore. So if we ignore a hyphen but the i still increases, we would skip one of the indexes within our ISBN array. So we are using the index and we will simply assign it the value of the input that substring i of the length 1 that we just currently are on within our for loop. However, we need to of course convert it to an integer because ISBN only has digits so now we added our ISBN digit to our ISBN array and we can multiply the digit with the multiplier and add it to our sum. So our sum plus equals and we will use the multiplier at the beginning remember it's 10. So we'll start with 10 multiplied by the ISBN whatever the digit is in the index. That's the one that we just added. Now after we do that we need to decrease the multiplier because the next digit will be multiplied by 9 and the next after that will be multiplied by 8 and so forth. So we will simply do multiplier 
minus equals one. And we started with index of zero. So that's our ISBN index of zero. And the next one we want to move to the one, then to index two and so forth. So we need to increase index by one. And that's very simple loop. That's all there is to it. Now we'll simply perform the calculation. We'll divide sum by 11 and check if the reminder of that calculation is zero. So we will use the mod. So if the sum mod 11, if it equals zero, in other words, there's no reminder, then we have a valid ISBN and we can output yes to our output text box. Otherwise, of course, we have a no. It's not a valid number or valid ISBN. All right, so let's run it. And if I try to add anything other than digit, I can't, it won't let me. So let's add a valid ISBN from the exercise, which was 0, 32, 1, 0, 8, 5, 9, 9, and X. So this should give us yes, and it does. If I change one digit, then it should give us no, because no more, it is divisible by 11, and it is no. I found a few more, so this is a valid ISBN. I click check validity, and it says yes. And uh, you can validate it yourself manually if you add all these numbers together, multiplied by first number by 10, then 9, then multiplied by 8 and so forth, you get a sum of 154, and 154 divided by 11 is 14. There's no reminder. If I change any of these numbers, now I get no, because it's no longer divisible by 11. I have one more, and again this one should give us yes, and it does, and if I change any of the numbers, let's say I change the 3 to x, it should give us no, and it does. So this is working correctly, I hope you liked it, and I'll see you in the next video.